Hey guys, uh, so last video we learned more about controlling and proper boundaries for our game, right? Like if I were to walk into this wall, I can't walk through it. Now that's all good and all. However, the only issue now in our game is that the player moves off the screen. So now there's two ways to actually solve this problem. We can A, just add some boundaries to the screen, or what we can do is we can allow the camera to follow the player. Now, personally, I think that the camera following the player would be a lot more fun and interesting. So today we're going to be learning how to create, how to code in a camera follower into our video game. So let's start. All right. So first I'm just going to explain what we're going to do in this video. So currently our player has a specific X and Y coordinate because it's a 2D game. Now, all we need is for our camera to have the exact same coordinates as the player's X and Y coordinates, and then each time the frame re-renders, which is once every millisecond, I believe, then the camera would ideally be constantly following the player. So this is the method that we're going to work with today. So let's just start. All right, so the first thing we will want to do is just create a simple camera object. So go into your uh, class and create an uh, so yeah, just create an object called orthographic camera. So that's the uh, that's the instance of the class, and call it camera. All right. Uh, the next thing you're gonna want to do is just go into your show method right over here, and what you're gonna want to do is instantiate the object. So you're gonna want to go camera. Uh, camera is equal to new orthographic camera. All right, and set that equal to the player X and the player Y. All right, the next thing that you will want to do is go into your render function, and right after batch.begin, you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get the camera position. All right, and you're just gonna want to reset it to the player X and Y position. We're doing this because we constantly want the the, the values could possibly change, so that's why we're gonna constantly you know re-render it. And after you're going to also want to write 0. Uh, we're writing 0 because this is a 2D game, and 0 is simply just a representation for the 3D um, height. But there's no height in a 2D game. All right, uh, we're going to go camera.position.set. The next thing you're going to want to do is just go camera.update, because we want to update the new changes that we've made. All right, and the next thing you're going to want to do is just go all the way down right before batch.end. All right, and what you're going to want to do is just is you're going to want to combine the the sit the camera position with the actual position of the game itself. So you're going to want to go batch dot you're going to want to go batch dot set project set project matrix. So matrix is just a position if you you know in physics, and it's just going to be camera dot combined camera dot combined, and that's all we have to do. Now, if I were to just run this, uh, oh, stupid semicolon. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna run this. Okay, uh, zoom this out, and here is the game. And as you can see, we're now moving around. All right. And you guys might be wondering, well, why is it so zoomed out? Now, the reason for this is actually pretty straightforward. It's because we didn't actually give it a proper zooming value. And to fix this is pretty straightforward. All you're going to want to do is just go back into your show method and go right below the instantiation of camera. And you're just going to want to go camera dot set to ortho. So set to ortho false. So this prevents it from zooming in because I put it in as false. Now, if I were to just take this, it's going to now move perfectly. All right, so now instead of it just flying off on the screen, we can watch it as it flies off in the screen. So thank you guys for watching in this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.